the, my paintings are usually of the bright colors because uh, um, I just brought in another. I like I like things bright. It was easy to work with. Well, what's your name? Oh, I'm sorry, Reba Bigelow. And where are you from? Uh, Kansas. You're originally from Kansas. Originally from Kansas. And you're, we're right now in Seattle. Yes, I live in Seattle. My my husband is a Seattleite. And how long have you lived in Seattle? Thirty-three years now. Prior to that, we lived in uh, different countries. He was in the Air Force. We spent four years in Italy and a couple of years in Germany and uh, different places in the United States. So, uh, What's the name of the painting right behind you? Preponderance. And how did you come up with that name? Well, uh, first of all, I went through Roger's thesaurus. <laughs> you did. And what does it mean? <laughs> and I looked up. I, I really don't know how I came up. Sometimes I don't. Uh, it's just you look, you look at it and you think, D does... Here, does, let's get over closer to the, uh, the painting. Uh, does, uh, does the name really bring out what... The Why don't you get closer to the painting so we can look, so we can hear what you're talking about? Okay. Does the name really bring out the painting? Is that what? The name does that bring out the painting? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, at least this one here. And I pondered over whether I wanted to put another one circle in there. I'm basically I'm geometrically oriented more than anything. Math was not. Difficult. Math was not. No, and uh, most of mine have simple square, rectangle, and circle, a running series, and then I take that series and start another one that looks like it's they're related. So, and, and I like bright color. I really you do. sure do. Those things are jumping off the canvas. Uh -huh. Do you uh, mix them up or do they come right out of the tube? Uh, no, I mix them up I, or I, they come out of, of a jar too because you can have, there's just all kinds of colors that you can buy these days. So it makes it much easier. So this yellow, this uh, orange, did you mix that up to make it that yeah, uh, I, I I had mixed red and then I put orange and then I didn't like all of it and I had all uh, red here and I thought I go buy it after I finish and I that needs something so I put yellow here and yellow here and I think that brought it in the composition. So. Uh, How long did it take for you to paint this? Oh, it's different times. Probably a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks, or sometimes it's I. If it doesn't come, I put it aside and come back at different times. So How about the one on the uh, the left? Well, this is the kind of the tail end of a bunch of scenery idea. It's got a lot of texture in there. Yeah, that's because it's been painted over a few times. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, and then getting the contrast of uh, color this dark, which is not black, it's a, it's a type of deep blue, is, uh, you know, you don't need as much in it, but it kind of brings it forward. And I like the, the yellow. Well, it's an off shade of yellow. So, and, and the name of, for this one? Is uh, abstract scenery number two. I did. I think I've got two or three from scenery. Sometimes I put them away and I don't remember, and I have to get them out and see just what I did with each one, so that you don't repeat it. But it, it's relate interrelated. Do you paint in the morning, in the evening, uh, all day long? Uh, well, usually in the morning. I. Um, I paint off and on during the day, depends on how uh, much time I have, which I'm a housewife too. I see. 
And, uh, so you got some chores to do every day. Yes, right. Like get my son, husband her, his lunch. I see. And how long did it take for you to paint this one? Do you know? Oh, I would say that was on and off a month because I didn't like the finish. And that's why I, I came up with this rough texture. And I had to figure out how to keep to keep it in the uh, painting and in the composition. And I rather like I like kind of rough composition. There's no circles in this one. No, that's one of the unusual ones. But here's my rectangle. And what are you selling this painting for? Well, here are 375, which I don't think is unreasonable. So how many paintings do you normally have going at once? Do you just work on um, one or you... I used to have a, about three or four at one time and uh, now it's one or two I have going at at one time because I don't uh, have the time that I used to have. Okay, any closing comments there? How, uh, are you self-taught? Did you go to art school? Oh, I went, I graduated from the University of Washington, but I started out in Italy at the hobby shop, and it was oil. And then I, when I came back to the States, I went for a degree in art. And I went from painting in oils to acrylic and watercolor. I do have some watercolors, but I don't do as many as I used to because you have to cover them with glass and you have to find a storage place for them, things like that. But uh, I do love watercolor. So. Do you have a website? Yes. Uh, Reba, which is my first name. Can you spell it out? R-E-B-A-T-A-D 2 at msn.com. Now is that the number 2? or Num Number 2. That's the number 2. Mm -hmm. Or you can uh, have it without the 2. Oh, really? I know. Well, I don't know. My husband changed it for online information, I guess. Okay. So. Well, thank you very much for sharing your paintings with us. Well, thank you.